below. Like and subscribe if you want to. So the Phillies hired Dave Dombrowski to be their new president of baseball operations. And this comes after general manager Mike Klintek stepped down following another season of not making the playoffs. And this also comes after the Phillies are rumored to have lost around $2 billion from the coronavirus season this past season. So the hiring of Dombowski shows that the Phillies obviously want to win now with his track record showing that he builds winners. Dombrowski builds winners within a couple seasons, but with some flaws, he trades the entire farm system in order to get that win now roster where they generally have a successful two to three year run and then immediately leaves as soon as the farm system is depleted and then the big league team is bad. This happened in Miami where the Marlins won in 1997, Detroit where they had some really high highs with David Price, Max Scherzer, and Justin Verlander in their rotation, never ended up winning a ring. And then also in Boston, where they ended up winning the World Series in 2018, filled their team up with payroll, or trading for Chris Sale, signing him to an extension, signing J.D. Martinez, and then eventually letting Mookie Betts walk because they weren't able to afford him, and they also had a depleted farm system. So what does... Dombrowski need to do. He obviously needs to re-sign Real Muto. They traded Sixto Sanchez and Jorge Alfaro for him, and one year of Real Muto is not going to cut it, trading six, seven years of Sixto Sanchez, potentially the next Pedro Martinez. However, that probably won't happen. The Phillies have already said that they're looking to shed payroll. Potentially, what can they do to shed payroll? Trade McCutcheon, trade Zach Wheeler. They already there's already been the Zach Wheeler trade rumors, but that was shot down from Philly's management. But it's not really out of the question. He's making a lot of money for the next five or four seasons, however many. McCutcheon making a lot of money, and he's older. They also need a lot of bullpen help. Hector Norris is he going to cut it at closer again? Archie Bradley is was non tendered. He's out there in free agency. Also, Jason Shreve is out there on free agency, a left-handed arm that they could use. What else could they use? They need outfielders, potentially, if they want to shed McCutcheon's contract. They could sign Eddie Rosario, who is non-tendered, Adam Duvall, who is non-tendered, Nomar Mazzara, who is non-tendered, Carl Schwarber, who is non-tendered. Obviously, Universal DH is in question for the, following, for the upcoming season. Schwarber would fit in well there, but the Phillies have a lot of questions to do. A lot of questions to answer. Drombowski's going to come in, probably immediately blow up the farm system, which the Phillies don't even have a highly ranked farm system to begin with. They got a, they signed Harper for the next however many years, 12, 13 years. They, they need to build a winner around him. That's why he went to Philadelphia to play it for a winner. And their team right now does not look like it could be a winner. They need they need to add more pitching to with Aaron Nola. They need better offense. Is Gene Segura really really the answer at shortstop? He's been rumored in trade talks. Is Reese Hoskins really the answer at first base? They could look to trade him. Obviously I like I said McCutcheon, but they need to build that team around Harper. He's twenty eight, signed for twelve, thirteen more years. They need to build a winner around him immediately. If they lose Real Muto, who's the catcher? Andrew Knapp? That's, I mean, Phillies have a lot of questions. They need more pitching. They need more starting pitching specifically. They need more bullpen arms. They have a lot of questions. They need to build a winner around McCutcheon, and Drombowski's here. And they, he also needs to hire a general manager with Mike Klintak stepping down. A lot of question marks in Philadelphia, and Dave Dombrowski is the new, the new guy there. Hopefully they're able to build a winner around Harper, and yeah. But Dombrowski's pack says two to three years of contention, and then he's going to leave as soon as the big league team's back under 500 and the farm system's depleted again. Crazy times ahead for Philadelphia. Thank you.